What's up guys, it's Kareem, the lead blogger and head CEO of Hypetrilla, uh, the number one uh, online platform to provide education to independent musicians. And I'm here to talk to you guys about a uh, interesting topic and that's gonna be five things that could potentially stop your music career. Uh, before it even gets a chance to flourish. Now, these are going to be things that I think are pretty simple, um, but could make a huge difference um, if they're not done. So let's jump right into it. I want to talk to you about number one, and that's not having a strategy. Um, having a strategy is important because you need to have a game plan all the time. Um, every day, uh, you need to uh, contribute something to uh, your music career or uh, your end goal uh, being involved in music um, you want to make sure you study uh, at least one or two hours out of the day if you're not going to actually be doing something actionable that day uh, you don't want to spend too much idle time because that's just time that you're wasting and there's always something to do when it comes to uh, being a musician now keep in mind, social media is all the rage right now, and uh, for musicians it's very taxing. I know that it can be hard to think of things to post on a regular basis, but keep in mind that in uh, the blog post that is associated with this video, um, I actually have a chart that has 70 killer content ideas that you can utilize on your social media accounts. So make sure you check that out. Um, it'll make posting a lot easier because I know it's hard sometimes we run out of ideas but that's what the chart is for so make sure you uh, browse and check that out now the second thing that I want to talk to you guys about is being negative um, being negative is something that's not gonna get you far even outside of music uh, you want to make sure that you always have a positive attitude um, and you want to also keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of lessons that you're going to learn along the way. Uh, some are going to come from failures. So you, you have to keep in mind that um, you're going to take from those things that are failures and uh, create lessons from them and just apply them going forward and just keep an all around positive attitude because this music business uh, thing is not something that's going to happen overnight. You know, there's going to be a lot of setbacks in the process. So you want to Practice uh, developing a positive attitude even when things don't go the right way as early on as possible. Number three is going to be neglecting your health. Um, if you neglect your health, uh, what good is everything else that you're doing? Um, you can have all the money in the world. You could be as successful as possible, but if you're not healthy, then um, it, it's not even going to matter. So my biggest suggestion to some of you artists uh, who have like uh, really bad habits like smoking and um, uh, cigarettes and you want to drink all the time, um, try and moderate those things, if not quit altogether, uh, because those are things that are going to be detrimental to your health. Um, if you have pl plans or expectations of being a really big artist, those are things that are going to affect you from being able to perform in front of your fans the way that you love to. Uh, so the more you take care of your body, um, the better off you'll be in the long run. So don't neglect your health because it definitely matters. Number four is gonna be making excuses. I don't know anybody in the history of mankind that has ever gotten far making excuses why things don't get done. Um, if, you, if, if you're one of those people, then you may wanna do a reevaluation. Um, because in the music business, just this grind in general, uh, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to do. Uh, so there's a potential for excuses lurking around every single corner. And you just want to not make a habit of providing excuses. If something's hard, um, get the work done regardless. Uh, if you need to be resourceful, do that. Uh, but one thing you don't want to do is make excuses. Nobody's going to want to work with you if you always have excuses because at the end of the day, this music business stuff is about execution. And if you can't execute and you always have a reason why you can't or you didn't or something didn't get done, uh, you're not going to be reliable to people and um, it's, it's going to hurt you in the long run. So uh, don't make excuses. Get the work done. Uh, the sooner you get the work done, the more you reap the benefits. Last but not least, I have number five for you guys, and that's not being on all social media platforms. 
Now I say all, uh, but I literally don't mean all because there's a bunch, but find like three or four really good ones um, and really commit to coming up with, like I said in number one, a strategy uh, for those because um, you wanna have as much exposure as possible. You never know where you're gonna catch your big break and you can bet that you won't catch that big break if you're not somewhere where the masses are. So find out what social media sites fit you as an artist the best, uh, come up with a strategy to deliver uh, the best type of content that you can deliver. You'll be able to get that again uh, in this article, uh, the blog article for this, um, with this title. And you'll have 70 cool ideas at your disposal that all you literally have to do is plan out. So make sure you maximize on your exposure as much as possible because all that's gonna do is get you in front of the people a lot faster. Um, and by not doing that, you're slowing your progress down or killing it all together, um, trying to be uh, indie in today's world. So those are the five things that I think uh, are super important and um, could make or break a person's career before it even gets a chance to flourish um, in in most cases, I believe. Um, keep in mind that I do have a free uh, ebook out right now. It's called The Ultimate Cheat Sheet. It's got over 20 plus tips um, for independent artists. I'm sure you'll be able to find some gems in there somewhere. Um, it's completely for free if I haven't said that already. You can click the link in my bio um, and uh, that'll be a fast way to get to the guide. Um, I also have a Facebook group. Uh, it's called Behind the Mic. Um, I will have a link for that in my bio as well where we uh, basically come together uh, and we talk about successes, failures, things that work for artists, things that don't work. Um, it's just a community of artists where we just help one another. Additionally, if you wanna get instant updates about when I release this type of content or any new content for that matter, you can text the number that's in the uh, caption and uh, what's gonna happen is that's gonna enroll you and enroll you in an alert system that I have that just lets you know um, that I've put out some new content. I won't spam you, I promise. Um, I will only use that feature to let you know that a new video is up or I typed up a new blog article and that's it. But in the meantime, I am Kareem. I am again, the lead blogger and uh, CEO of Hype Trilla. Uh, I hope this video serves up some value to you and I will see you in the next one.